Hey guys, welcome to Penpa Plus channel. I know it's been a while. Mainly I have been but focusing on the development of the tool itself. And so it took me a while and now that and last few weeks have been very exciting for me. And we I added a lot of new features and stuff to Penpa. And I thought it's time to showcase some of those speech features and record some videos so that everyone knows about it and start using them in their uh, uh, while they're creating or solving the puzzles and sudokus. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the new sudoku solving mode, which I'm very excited about. It's to make sudoku solving easy on Penpa. The functionality is kind of similar or almost similar to the cracking the cryptic web application which you are used to or F puzzles and it follows similar controls and I'm going to show you all that you can do using the Sudoku solving mode. So I'm picking for example, I'm not going to solve the Sudoku but just for a sample I have picked this amazing crop key indicator sudoku uh, by Udukos uh, from logic masters germany website so check out that if you want to learn the rules of this sudoku and solve this i will put this link in the youtube video description below uh, so please feel free to check it out and solve it but the main focus is on using the sudoku solving mode so once this puzzle is loaded on your page and you can see this mode section you have different modes i have covered about some of these things in my other videos so do check it out if you want to learn uh, but this is the one which i'm focusing on sudoku which is just beside the uh, composite right and once you click the sudoku mode you can see it's similar to as other tools uh, uh, smooth functionality it offers three modes sub modes which i say normal center corner right normal corner center let's see what each of this mode does so the normal mode is to occupy the entire cell with single digit right if i type so i have selected this cell right so i have selected this cell row to column 5 and if I type number 1 2 3 so you can see the size I'll leave it there let's say I'll select this cell and I'm switch to corner mode and if I type it 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so you can see how it goes around in the corners and it allows up to 8 corner digits in uh, standard sudokus and whereas six digits in some of the variants like killer sudoku or uh, other liar sudoku or some other sudokus because in killer sudoku you have the top left area kind of providing the killer clue and we definitely don't want to clutter that area so I had restricted it to six pencil marks for such cases but you get the idea then if I select the next another cell switch to center mode and it basically goes into center of the cell right just to uh, tell you some other functions is center mode basically if you have already entered digit let's say i have entered one two three four five six if i press four again it just removes it from the cell that's it similarly for the corner mode if i switch to corner uh, if i press two now it removes two and readjust the uh, remaining digits so i can remove add again and keep doing that the next thing i want to talk about is which is of course the main advantage of this mode is multiple selection of the cell so as you can see for example i can drag the mouse and select let's say if i know somehow that these four cells are one two three four so i can select these cells and whichever mode let's say if i do corner one two three four so you can see it appears in all the cells and similarly i can select and do same center mode and do one two three four or to remove again 
and if I unselect and select just these two and remove three so you get the idea so you can multiple select modify the values of all the cells together another uh, few conditions in the back I mean in the code I have added to make life easy is for example if you placed a single digit and now but you want to modify these two cells with pencil marks let's say seven and eight I can do continuous selection of these three cells right and then I type seven eight you can see that it ignores the cell which contains the full normal size digit so you don't have to worry about that the tool does it automatically and then same again if I select and remove it sorry I have switched to number mode I can do control Z undo uh, center mode and then remove 8 and 7 back again it doesn't affect the cell which has the normal size digit right and let's say if you want to select cells which are not you know a continuous cell but you want to select let's say this cell some random cells in this grid you can do so by pressing control key so if I select this I have pressed control key then I can select multiple far location cells and then I can still type it 2345 and it type happens in all those selected cells right pretty easy right pretty smooth and and for the final and I also have choices for the colors of the digits so default is blue color but you if you want you can switch to light blue gray red green black uh, whichever color you prefer although I should tell if someone has enabled answer checking uh, for the sudoku penpa will only detect the answer if you have entered the solution in either blue uh, whichever blue shade you want that's fine blue green or red only these three colors i would ref recommend to use one of these three colors uh, if suppose the answer mode is enabled and you want penpa to check the solution for you if it's correct or not uh, if if the author has entered the solution to be checked said that the next thing i want to showcase is the shortcuts for the sudoku mode right there are two shortcuts uh, one is through the keyboard control and it is same as ctc web application that is zxcv so you can see I am not moving my mouse it's weird so I'm just pressing the keyboard Z it goes to normal you can focus here the the highlighting sub mode right then if I press X it's corner C is center so ZXC and V is for shading and if you can see uh, this highlighted color will switch to surface mode and the surface mode is nothing but shading right so probably I should change that name soon uh, maybe I should yeah call it shading but anyway for this video yeah so ZXCV you can see I can quickly switch between these modes just like the other application and in surface there are 12 colors you can choose from uh, you can choose whichever color you want and then shade it and then switch back to sudoku mode whichever mode you want and start entering the numbers right pretty simple another highlight i want to talk about in the shading mode is green is kind of a complementary color in the sense that any other color you choose right and if you are you're working on uh, laptop any other color you choose for example orange by mouse left click you will get that color and the right click will give you green any color you choose the right click you can do green so if you are interested in doing two colors it comes becomes pretty handy so but uh, so you don't need to specifically select green color any time directly uh, if you of course if you want it on your left click fine but uh, any other color you choose green color is complementary uh, as a right click of the mouse of course this is not available if you're working on ipad or mobile and that brings me to the last point uh, not last point maybe i have another delete option to show you uh, but so if you are on mobile the moment you hit sudoku mode there will be a panel popping up something like this 
so you can see this panel it uh, i have added new feature where it automatically pops up if you select this mode if you are on ipad or mobile right and so just basically then tap you just drag with your finger select the cells and then tap whichever number you want and it will enter it and then delete to delete the content of the cells that's it that it's 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 that simple right and then in, there is another feature again uh, it's mainly if you're working on laptop not available for uh, mobile or uh, ipad is uh, if, if suppose if you if there is a cell let's say if i added the corner digits one two three and then also center digits uh, four five six for some reason i'm just giving sample and the delete key will delete all the cells in the digit right if i press delete you see all are gone i'll undo it right but if let's say if you want to just delete the corner or center pencil marks not all of them right then you need then you can do that using space bar so you either so if you are in center mode if you press space bar you see it only deletes the center cells if i undo and if i switch to corner mode and press space bar it only deletes the corner cell so that can be handy uh, sometimes uh, if you like uh, just wanted to throw it out there if someone wants to use it and uh, enjoy the small nice feature uh, for the delay right and now the last part which i was talking about apart from this z x c v shortcuts uh, you can use that there's another way you can switch between these modes and that's using the tab selector so in the tab selector it's basically it means that how you want your tab in your keyboard to work so let's say if i don't use corner mode i want to just switch between normal and center so if i so in the tab selector you can search okay so i am sudoku mo oops sorry sudoku right okay i'll just clear all for now there is a clear all check all button now you can see sudoku normal sudoku center sudoku corner right they are all available so i just select sudoku normal sudoku center and then click it outside that's it and if i press tab it will switch between those two modes sub modes you can see here and you can add more options if you prefer depending on your sudoku type you can just press tab and switch between these modes or i have added this another shortcut to this uh, although it says tab uh, but if you press your enter key then also it switch between modes so i am pressing enter key and the reason being that uh, some people like to use the number keypad for entering numbers and tab is a bit far to reach out so that's why i have mapped that enter key as to behave like a tab key so if so from near your number pad you have enter key so you can just quickly switch between modes and also quickly enter digits using this multiple drag i believe yeah these all these features are now pretty handy smooth and uh, hope to help you fast solve sudokus i hope you like this new feature and i am excited and happy to hear your feedback if you find any issue or if you like it please comment uh, on the be video below and as usual please like and subscribe this channel to stay tuned with all the new features in penpa till then uh, take care bye guys